Last month, on the 3rd of February, India detained a Karachi-bound Chinese ship. And nearly two weeks ago, this seemingly innocuous cargo vessel was allowed to set sail for its original destination, Pakistan's port Qasim. It was detained for carrying an autoclave, a key component used in the launch of long-range missiles. And today, top Indian scientists have nailed a crucial piece of China and Pakistan's puzzling nuclear nexus. Tonight, we unravel how India caught these two allies in the act. The ship bearing the flag of Hong Kong was detained at Gujarat's Kandla port for over a fortnight. It was carrying a crucial component needed in Pakistan's latest weapon of mass destruction, the Shaheen II intercontinental ballistic missile. The platform was tested last May and boasts of a range upwards of 1,500 kilometers. Last month, officials from India's Defence Research and Development Organisation apprehended the device and let the ship set sail empty-handed. The vessel and its crew have been charged under the Customs Act for incorrect declaration of goods. But more importantly, the autoclave has validated India's assertions about the Pakistan nuclear programme that its missile delivery systems are based on technology transfers from China and North Korea. And now that the device has been physically verified by Indian scientists, the ground has been laid for India to invoke the weapons of mass destruction and their delivery systems prohibition of Unlawful Activities Act 2005, as well as the United Nations Convention on WMDs against Pakistan. The vessel is currently at Port Qasim in Karachi. Remember, it was only in 1999 during the Kargil war with Pakistan that a North Korean ship was detained in similar circumstances, again for carrying parts for missiles. Let's tell you more about the sequence of events in the latest case. The merchant vessel left the Chinese port of Jiangin for Port Qasim, Karachi via the Kandla port. The ship reached Gujarat's waters on the 3rd of February. Port authorities verified that the ship had no prior dues and had cleared the vessel to go about its voyage. But on the 5th of February, the day the ship was to receive the all clear, custom officials received a tip off. The ship was detained for wrongly declaring the autoclave in its cargo. It was then moved to Anchorage at the mouth of Kandla Creek and remained there till the 21st of February, allowed to proceed only after handing over that device. All this while, Pakistan maintained radio silence, so much so that even upon being pressed to respond, Pakistan's Foreign Affairs Ministry spokesperson sidestepped our correspondent's direct questions. That there was a ship that has been captured uh, 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 along the coast of Gujarat in India that had missiles apparently that was due to go to Karachi. What is Pakistan's position on that? The Gujarat ship, ma'am. The Gujarat ship that was captured in Gujarat that had missiles and was due for Karachi. I will uh, refer to you on this with some detail. United Construction, this Islamabad based company, ordered the equipment and a Hong Kong-based company, General Technology Limited, booked the consignment. Both these entities are on the radar of the intelligence agencies. And on the diplomatic front, this incident has undoubtedly bolstered India's unmatched nuclear proliferation record. France, and especially the United States, given the recently conducted Namaste Trump event, can further make India's case before the nuclear suppliers group. India, all in all, has several doors now open before it, diplomatic as well as under international law. Clearly, the ball is now in India's court.